What's up YouTube, this is the CEO Gamer here. So as promised, I got a video on using miracles in PvP and in invasions and ganks. And so we're going to go over some tactics, timing, ranges, baiting, AoE, uh, counters, um, good times to use it, um, how you can really use these to your advantages so that you're dominating your opponents, and also making sure that you are not getting exploited when you uh, are using your miracles out in the DSC world against your opponents. So we're going to start off with some PvP uh, tactics and then we'll go into invasions. So on this first clip here, I'm fighting a melee person here, and so what I'm going to be doing is they're going to be trying to come into my space, they got to tag with their weapon, so I'm going to try and bait them in um, and wait for their kind of time their attack and use the lightning stake like that, which has two damages. It has the stake and the AoE splash after that. Lightning Storm there also clears out the space, gives me time to kind of reset. Um, and I usually follow that up with the Sunlight Spear because sometimes they don't expect it. So that is one particular tactic I use. Um, in this next one, if you want to pepper casters, the key is to um, first get their timing because your spear is probably going to be faster than, say, a uh, Crystal Soul Spear. So as you can see just there, I timed their second attack and I was able to get off a lightning spear in time to hit them before they were to release theirs, allowing me to dodge. This is critical when facing other casters, is to be able to time their attacks because the lightning is going to travel pretty fast and um, it doesn't have the best tracking, but it's going to work. In this video, I'm working with somebody who has that sunlight spear and so noticing he had a penchant for using it, I timed his second attack so that um, when he's doing that, then I can hit him with the lightning spear and have enough time to be able to dodge. Um, to fight somebody with that spear, you, they're going to use that attack, you have to learn to time it and use the range against them because while they're casting that, which is almost a two second cast, you can usually get off a spell and an attack and take advantage of that in time. Uh, in this next clip here, it's 2v3 invasion here, I'm working with a gank, so you notice I'm in a tight space, so what do I do? Bait them into a lightning storm, which is going to hit everything around me, somehow I get that lightning spear through there. But now while my guy is with the Aldrich is going for the melee, I'm going to go in for a stake and try and get some splash damage, which I do there. And then I'm going to switch to a uh, storm here, because if I sense that they're going to want to jump up, then I can throw this out and it's going to clear everybody around me. They can't even jump in in that space. There, uh, we time our attacks to where I hit him with a spear and he attacks with a melee. And this is actually a critical tactic that you need to use as a caster in invasions when you're working with people who have melee weapons. If you can learn to time your attacks shortly uh, after they start their melee attack, or you can kind of get them to time theirs with yours, that's going to give you a massive advantage because they're not just having to dodge one attack, they're having to dodge two at the same time. And the chances of them avoiding a spear attack, a sunlight spear or a splash attack, while um, they're doing a melee is very low. So learn to time your attacks with your fellow invaders. This has been a crucial tactic that really helped me dominate. So in this clip here, this was a 2v3. We took down number three and so now it's 2v2. And then I think another invader is coming to uh, join us here. In this video, or in this clip, I'm trying to show the potential and the bonus of the spear and how, you see how like I hit him there right on the button at, in close range? So the spear has its damage of, say, a 300-400 hit point attack, but when you can connect it at close range and use your hyper armor, you can do an extra splash damage. And so the key on that one really is timing and baiting. And speaking of baiting here, I'm fighting a gank of two or three people here, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and bait them down this little corridor to a small area. And then I'm going to switch to a lightning stake, and I'm pretend I'm running, and then boom bait them in, they think I'm weak, and I attack them with the lightning stake. So they both have casting, so I'm going to do a little bit of dodging here. Um, and after I kind of avoid a couple of their casts, I think this is what, yeah, same thing. I'm baiting them in, and then I'm going to try and hit them with the lightning spirit or stake attacked. How I escape this here, I have no freaking clue. Uh, a little bit of luck there. Um, later on, oh no, there's another invasion. So I'm um, Anyway, so this is also a great example of using um, relatively short wide spaces, not so wide spaces, to be able to take on two and three opponents at the same time. I try and group them together into one space, and so this way, as long as I keep them together by, say, crop making sure their paths are close, then I'm going to keep punishing them with that stake, let them come in. So that's it. Um, 
hopefully you learned something here about the tactics of baiting, uh, timing, splash damage, um, you know, kind of the stun effect, uh, ranges, and how you can really add on the AoE. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and comment below. And until then, good luck out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.